All right, this is the first WordPress develop a plugin from scratch tutorial. I decided to do this because there's like I couldn't find any tutorial on the WordPress 3.0 or 3.1. All of them were on um WordPress 2 or an earlier version of 2. Point something. Um you know, obviously Press Shop works works and functions a lot differently now than it used to from the 2.0 versions and so I thought I'd do this one as more up-to-date one and specifically with the plugin I'm actually making from scratch which is a um, database sync and backup which will basically allow you to um, run two websites that are identical one being on the actual real host and one being on local host and if you have the plugins installed on both of them you can basically sync data between the two and if one site goes down for some reason you can use the other site as a backup so that'll make more sense when I go into it but it's going to be building off the basics of a plugin and then just looking into um, database queries and um, master and slave communication configurations stuff like that so first part you can see I'm just in low host on my MAMP installation got it installed just in its own folder called WordPress I'm just gonna log in alright so if you go to plugins, by default you'll see two plugins um, when you first install it, which is Akismet, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and Hello Dolly. Um, obviously, the first one is just your basic, just to protect your blog from spammers and just general spam. Um, but this Hello Dolly is just a novelty. Um, a very simple function of just displaying random words from a um, basically a variable that contains a whole paragraph of words so it's just nullified by selecting random lyrics from a, so um, a list of lyrics of a song so the basics of the plugin are first going to work like that just because it's so simple although it's still from scratch so to create a plugin first go to the um, whatever folder you have in your WAMP, MAMP or XAMP most likely HD docs then the folder where your WordPress contains might be in WordPress then WP-Content plugins and then just create a new one so let's just open text editor I'll save as and just name your plugin um, just any name you want to give it as long as it's um, lowercase all letters no spaces um, I'm not going to use underscores because it's, it's only going to be a simple name so dbsync.php and then save it in that directory which I just showed you a second ago So, save it in there. And you just need to, plugins just basically a PHP file, so I'll just write it in. The only thing that you need for it to actually work is that you don't actually need any code for it to work, you just need comments. But it's a certain structure of comments which basically outlines all the information about the plugin. So, oops. The first thing is um, the package. Basically, I need to tell it what this plugin is, what um, 
or it's going to be called by. So mine's just going to be DB Sync. The current version it is that um, this plugin is in this file, so this would be 1.0. to put the at symbol in it's needed um, then another section for some other general information so plugin name db sync Plugin URI. Got to put the colons in as well. Um, I'm just going to fill this in temporarily with my website, but a lot of people do complain that this is supposed to go to a page where you can find out all about the plugin rather than the the author. Because there's author URI for that. Um, and when people click this link, they want to be able to focus on the information purely about the plugin, they don't want any other irrelevant information thrown at them. So obviously I don't want to send them to something completely unrelated to the plugin when they click that URL or URI. But I'll obviously change that before it's actually complete. Description. This is test plugin. Just so you can tell, it's kind of definitely the right one. Um. Arthur, so I'll just put my name in for this one. Once again, the version number which is 1.0. The Arthur URI, which is the website you can put to whatever you want, since it's just telling you about the Arthur and nothing can be pretty vague and up to whatever they want to do, so I'll just oops, wrong button. And just close it off. So that should be enough for it to show up in WordPress. It's not going to do anything, but. And there it is. So that's just the basics of getting it to show up in the back end with no code or anything. It's just to basically show it. Um. In the second part, I'm just going to show some basic code of showing some actions in the admin, so you can see some that it's actually doing something. Um, I'm going to try and start doing my videos in 180p if that works out. So I, I think I figured out how to do that now. Um, I'll put the link in the description to the next. What's this? <laughs> put, I'll, yeah, I'll put it in the description. That's it.